up y'all it's your girl Michaela Tierra back here with another video if you are new here welcome like comment and subscribe and if you have been rocking with your girl this far welcome back so those of you who are new to my channel I am a dental hygienist I have been a dental hygienist for five and a half years now and um there's a lot of things that I wish someone could have told me or informed me about when it comes to dental hygiene school because going in you're going to be nervous you don't know what to expect of course you can google things you can watch videos um certain videos that'll tell you some of the ins and outs but there weren't really a lot of resources for me when i was going to apply to dental hygiene school so i'm just gonna start off by giving y'all some of the facts versus fiction things as far as dental hygiene school but we just gonna get straight into it and let's start with the fiction first so First thing is first, one thing that I have heard that is completely false is you cannot work while being in a dental hygiene program. So me, for example, while I was in the hygiene program, I worked the entire time. Granted, I was not working like a full-time shift, but I was working part-time and my friend Taja was actually working part-time as well. So of course, you may hear people tell you that, oh, you won't be able to work. It's going to be too much. Now, it is going to be hard. Like I took my study materials to work so that I could study and do what I had to do, but it is possible. So if you need, a, you know, a little coin in your pocket while you in dental hygiene school, you definitely can work part time. Now, that is definitely a really good time for like dental assistants who are going into dental hygiene school. That's a good time for y'all to pick up temp shifts to be a temp. You know, you travel to an office, you work when they need an assistant or they even have temp hygiene but of course if you are going to hygiene school as a dental assistant you'll be temping as a dental assistant yeah pick up some of those shifts you work that day you get your check that day at most offices and that's your coin so don't let nobody tell you that you can't work in a dental hygiene program because I did it. I know people who have done it and they have been successful with it. Another thing that I usually hear that is false is you have to have some type of dental experience to go into dental hygiene school. That is completely false. I had no dental experience whatsoever when I went to hygiene school. Now it is a bonus if you are a dental assistant going into hygiene school because of course you know certain things already like tooth numbers, you know what a composite and amalgam and different things like that is and you know tooth surfaces. But other than that, you really don't have any more advantage than people who didn't have experience with dental, um, with dental in general. I had no dental experience. I went through hygiene school just fine. So don't let that scare you away from going into a dental hygiene program because you do not have to have previous dental experience. Number three for false accusations with dental hygiene school is it will be hard for you to find work after you graduate. Completely false. Um, me, for example, again, one of my coworkers at the time, her mom was a dental hygienist and she was telling me, well, my coworker was telling me, oh, you know, it'll be hard for you to find a job. My mom's a hygienist. She couldn't find work, yada, yada, yada. Of course, I fed into it a little bit. I was like, dang, am I going to be able to find a job? But I graduated May 2017. I had a full-time job by August. So I was temping like almost immediately out of hygiene school. So temping is always going to be there. You will always find temp assignments. Now, granted, as a newer hygienist, it may be a little bit scary going into dental, um, different dental offices as a temp, not knowing what you're getting yourself into, but I promise you the work is there. So don't let nobody tell you that it'll be hard for you to find a job because the work is definitely out there. Next false thing about dental hygiene school C's get degrees. I'm sure we have all heard it. If you have been to college, then you know the term C's get degrees, but not in hygiene school, it don't. If you are in hygiene school, you have to maintain a B or better in all of your classes, or at least I know most hygiene schools are like that. Now there was once upon a time where, you know, they were allowing you to pass with C's, but for hygiene school, you have to maintain a B or better. If your grade point average drops below a B, or at least I know for Fayetteville Tech where I went, they would call you into the office, they'll sit down with you, see why your grade is so low and try to get you back up there, but you cannot end the semester with a C 
in nothing, in none of your classes. You have to maintain and be your better. So if you have that C's get degrees mindset, throw it away before you get into hygiene school because you have to maintain that B or better. You actually have to maintain a B or better to even get accepted into the program. So that's another thing to be mindful of. When you're doing those prerequisites, you have to have a B or better. Definitely try to aim for an A in the science courses, but you gotta have that B or better because a C is not getting you into a hygiene program. So enough about the false things about dental hygiene school. Let's get straight into the facts, the real deal spill. So fact number one, dental hygiene school is extremely competitive. I'm sure you have heard this. It is completely true, a thousand percent. Dental hygiene is one of the most competitive programs you can enter, especially going into like a community college. It's extremely competitive. At the school that I went to, which is Fayetteville Tech, they took in 32 students, I believe. And there are schools that take in even less. I've heard of schools taking in 20, 15 or 20 students. So it is extremely competitive, which is why I always say, make sure you aim for the highest scores possible in those classes. Um, bare minimum will not cut it because you are competing against thousands of people to get into that chair. You want your chair, you have to put in the work and you have to go hard doing those prereqs if you want to make it. Fact number two, it is expensive. It is very expensive for dental hygiene school. You have to buy instrument cassettes. You have to buy tools. You have to buy books, a Cavatron, um, board fees. So even when you think things are getting light with the prices for dental hygiene school, it seems like there was always something coming up. Um, even towards the last semester of hygiene school. You know, you would think the last semester is going to be easy and breezy. Everything is good, but you still have different fees you have to pay. Um, like I said, state and national board fees. You have to take your laws test, which you have to pay for that as well. And the stuff is not cheap. So that's one thing just to be mindful of. If you are going into dental hygiene school, be prepared for you know, some, some change to come out your pockets because it is not cheap. Fact number three, I'm sure you have heard that it is time consuming to be in a dental hygiene program and that is absolutely true. It takes up a lot of your time. Um, there were days where I went into school around 8 a.m. I wasn't getting out until about 4.30 after clinic days. So it's pretty much having like a full-time job. The people who you were in hygiene school with are going to become some of the closest people to you because only y'all know what y'all are going through. Our instructors told us like at our hygiene seminar that if you have a husband, wife, kids, boyfriend, girlfriend, whatever it is, they're going to think you're horrible because you're really not going to have time for them, which was true in a lot of cases. So if you got a little boo or something and they want you under them all the time, Hygiene school is not going to be, they're going to be a distraction for hygiene school because you're going to have to focus on your studies, getting right, because the ultimate goal is to get that degree. So it's going to take up some time. So for fact number four, this is one that I really wish was not true, but it is. And you probably have heard this one as well from certain programs, but you can get kicked out at any moment. And I mean, at any moment. Um, I don't know how other programs are, but I know at FTCC, it was like boot camp, literally. We had to test back in on all of our skills every semester. I don't care if it is your summer semester. I don't care if you're in your last semester. You can get kicked out at any moment. And the instructors, they made it known that you could get kicked out, like your spot was not secure. I guess that was their way of keeping us humble. I don't know, but yeah. You definitely could get kicked out at any moment, which is why you have to keep that grade point average up. You have to keep those grades up. You have to know your skills. It's one of those things where it's like knowing that you can get kicked out at any moment. It makes you go harder. It makes you not want to do the bare minimum because at the end of the day, you're, you know, committing your time to doing this program. Who wants to get kicked out, especially when you almost at the finish line? So, yeah. Definitely be mindful of that because once you get in, does not mean that your spot is secure and you will stay in. And those instructors have no problem telling you. And the last and final fact, which you probably hear the most, it is hard. 
Yes, that is a thousand percent true. It is extremely hard. I don't think anybody will ever tell you that they went into dental hygiene school and just got through it with flying colors, no stress, no nothing. I don't think anybody will ever tell you that. Um, even with me, all throughout school, I was always in honors classes. I always was really good with school. Dental hygiene school was one of the hardest, and I mean the hardest things that I ever had to do in life. Not only was, you know, it time consuming, but some of the material was actually really hard. It wasn't like you could look at something one day, memorize it, and you were done because that stuff always was going to come back up. So you had to know it. You have to retain it. You have to memorize it because it's going to come back up. It's really hard. It's really hard, um, but it's worth it. So do not let that scare you away from going into the program or pushing through with the program. Nothing easy is worth having, but that dental hygiene degree, oh, you're gonna be happy you push through because it is hard, but there is a silver lining at the end of the tunnel, I promise you. That pretty much sums it all up. That is the false versus the true as far as dental hygiene school. I hope that this video really helped someone out. I hope that it eased your mind or it may have made you more anxious about joining the program, which is fine as well. But just know nothing easy in life is good. You're gonna have to put in some work. Dental hygiene school is definitely one of those things that is worth it. Um, but yeah, if you have any more questions, you can definitely comment below and I'll see y'all next time. Peace out.